what's up guys welcome back to the channel of course welcome back to all the subscribers if you haven't subscribed to the channel just yet please consider hitting the subscriber button down below i'd highly appreciate it today we're going to be talking about two projects but keep in mind this is not financial advice this is just me showing you things that i do and you can take your own time to do your own research before we start and go into those two projects i want to kind of go over a question that you might be asking yourself right now where has passive base been well, I've been working all this time behind the scenes, still running our private chat uh, on Telegram. So if you've been going on to our public channel, there's not much going on there. Well, the, the main focus is on the private chat and you can join if you uh, want by hitting the Patreon link down below. We've made some great gains on the bear market. It wasn't really a bear market, but a down market. We made some great gains. We had some great picks and uh, the people in there are just awesome. And of course, I've been gone uh, also because I've been working behind the scenes to build my business uh, and it's a crypto based business, including YouTube trading and everything like that. And I also start a company called Play for Gains with my good friend here on YouTube, Lydia's Real. You can check out his channel down below. We run a scholarship program for Axie and we help out people that are in need and need to make additional income and don't have the funds to actually start and play the Axie game. Let's go ahead and get it started now. So we're going to be talking about two projects. One is going to be actually, let's start with the meme one first. So the first project we're looking at here is Floki. So Floki is a meme coin, of course, and it's right in, in the back of Dogecoin, Shiba and Floki. Uh, there's been a ton of dog based meme coins out there. So you're asking passive, why are you bringing us another one? Well, this one is different. There is places for three of these, I believe. And this is the third one and definitely can make some uh, good gains. Uh, it's on the move now. I'll show you the graph in a little bit. But the thought process behind this is that um, Floki came out in July. And Floki, if you don't know, it's the name of Elon's dog. He has a Shiba Un um, and he named it Floki. And he announced that he was doing that back in July and he hadn't gotten his dog yet. So. Loki went through some crazy ups and downs. It was within that period of the bull run of the meme coins. Uh, and then he died off and all of a sudden uh, it hit a plateau, which was the bottom of the bottom. Okay. The only thing that it could save it was Elon actually getting the dog, uh, which happened. It just happened recently. And let's see, they actually posted here. So you can see it right there. Elon September 12th. Um, Floki has arrived. So uh, as soon as this happened, uh, Floki went up like 900%, 10x. Uh, it went pretty crazy. I'm glad I actually had some leftover funds from back then that I had forgotten about. And uh, all of a sudden it came right back up to the top of the portfolio. So I noticed it, uh, did some digging, and I believe that this, uh, this is a good long-term hold. Um, it's been doing really well so far. And it's not only a meme coin, the team behind it actually has funds. They have pockets, deep pockets to actually fund things for this coin and hopefully follow uh, the path that Shiba followed uh, when it first started. Community is great behind the token. They, the people that stayed after July up to now are they definitely loyal and they believe in the project. So they're long term holders. That's what I look at, too. And uh, of course, it's going to get noticed every time elon mentioned his dog or his dog comes up on tv floki this floki that it's free press and the dog's gonna probably be super cute and the dog is gonna have a coin yes it's not an official coin but it is the first one for the dog funny stuff right but that's how that's how these meme coins work um and uh, that's that's how you kind of look at these things um, I'm not the only one looking at it that way. Uh, there's a lot of different people. Uh, that's why the price has gone up so fast. Okay, so now let's go ahead and take a look at the graph really quick and uh, see what this Floki token has done since he actually was released. Uh, we're gonna go over to Dex Tools right now. So let's go ahead and pull it up. So this is Dex Tools for Floki. And it has absolutely, this is the daily graph, okay? So every single one of these bars is one day represents a day. So this is when it came out. This is uh, August 8th. That's when he actually was switched over from the old Floki contract to the new one. 
um, but Floki actually came out back in July. Uh, and you can see here, it's uh, it was very stable, actually went down below uh, where he was and then just started going. And since it hasn't stopped, I mean, it's going pretty much parabolic right now. Um, there's a lot of buy orders coming in in regards to um, versus sell orders. So that's really, really good to see. And um, yeah, that's an awesome graph. Looks like there's some strong holders. The dips are being bought. You can see there. Um, and it's just it's just been trending up. Uh, this is up today 29% which is great so hopefully I'm bringing this to your attention early enough and that you can take advantage of it guys let's go ahead and take a look at the second project uh, we're gonna take a look at today and that is DeBuy. DeBuy is a token based on uh, music and FT and this is something that hasn't been done uh, a lot or I don't know a project that has done that yet uh, if you do please post it on the comment down below uh, but this is being developed by Wolf Centra, which is uh, the developer of Leash, which is the Shiba uh, team. So uh, they, uh, Wolf is one of the founders of Shib too. So that's great. They have deep pockets. They have money to actually fund and advertise and actually onboard artists to this platform. Um, with that said, this is the, the website here. Pretty self-explanatory. Music NFTs. I think this will be huge. Um, and there's some curveballs in this token, which is kind of odd, but I will tell you about it. And hopefully it's a positive rather than a negative. But you can go to the white paper and you can see what the goal is basically is to eliminate record labels and the middleman for the artist and the consumer. So they make pretty good uh, sense in regards to like fanatics, to certain uh, artists that mu they must have everything that the uh, the artist puts out there they're super fans and they will buy anything and uh, nfts music nfts it's something that you're going to be able to actually uh take full ownership of and resell it yourself later and the artist will make a commission or a basically residual income from those uh sell uh transactions every sell transaction they'll get a percentage of it forever uh for as long as that nft the music nft is being traded in the open market bought and sold uh the artist will make uh, a percentage uh there's an example i don't have it here but i, I forgot the name of the rapper uh, he put up an nft music nft for sale he was just blown away i think his nft went up to sixty thousand uh, dollars that music nft because it is a music for you to listen to right but it's also a collectible just collectible themselves with just pictures are selling for millions of dollars um with the utility of actually having the music there and you're a fan of the artist actually adds a tremendous value to it and uh, the percentage that the artist is making is on sixty thousand dollar transactions um so that's that's pretty awesome he was pretty hyped up i have the videos understanding what's going on let me fully explain this to you i told y'all one dollar for the nfts right i sold these shits to my fans for one dollar people came some people bought 20 some people bought five some people bought 60 it doesn't matter how much you bought it was only a dollar you spent 60 bucks you bought 60 i need y'all to understand one of those copies right now is going for 50,000 60,000 60, 000, 60 000. yo my nigga and these are sold they're sold go look at the list right now and see how small the sellers list is getting y'all don't understand what the fuck is going on y'all don't understand i just cracked the fucking industry y'all don't understand i just cracked this shit i just cracked this whole shit it's cracked it's over. I cracked the whole shit. It's over. When you, it, it's over. No more middlemen. All y'all artists out there, fuck your label. Fuck the nigga that's telling you, yo, you gotta wait for this day on Spotify and on this. Fuck that, nigga. It's over. Y'all gonna get paid, and your fans gonna get paid, and they gonna keep coming to you. Why? Cause y'all making money together. This the digital trap house. Welcome, niggas. He thinks he really uh is onto something. It's a pretty funny video. But yeah, uh, I think this is definitely something that uh, we're going to be seeing more of projects that are coming out in this niche. Uh, the only project that has to do with NF uh, not NFTs, but like the somewhat NFTs that it's incorporating with NFTs right now is Audius. Audius is already a pretty large market cap. I mean, it still can definitely pump, but getting in projects like this early enough, uh, which is something completely different than any other uh, NFT project that's been hyped up so far. I think it's a good opportunity. So hopefully you you take the time to come here, read this white paper, and see exactly what it does. 
but this is the curveball here. So let's go back to the website. Uh, if we scroll down here and stop right here, right? Um, DeFi is also a rebase token. So this has to do with music and it's a music um, marketplace, everything like that. Uh, but they are also a rebase token. So this for basically your your beginner uh, crypto investor and they don't know what rebase is, it might be a little intimidating and the coins might be disappearing from their wallets and they might be getting more coins in their wallets and they don't know what the hell is happening. Uh, well, that's the coin rebasing and rebasing just means that the coin automatically reduces the supply or inflates the supply. Market cap won't change because it's just supply based. I'm not going to explain to you how rebases work, but this is pegged to the Tesla stock, uh, meaning if the stock goes up, the number of coins on in your wallet will go up. The price of that coin will actually go down. So you're still going to own the same amount uh, in value, value wise, but uh, you're going to have a lower price point, which is great. Price drops. People just look at the price and they'll buy it. Um, in the other hand, if the stock goes down, uh, it's a negative rebase. You're going to have less coins. The price actually goes up. But for you, the value is still the same as long as people are not selling and buying. So rebasing doesn't really matter. Uh, only if you're looking just at the price, which a lot of beginner investors are. So it is pegged to the Tesla stock, which is a definitely a curveball here. It could be a positive, it could be a negative. We won't be able to tell until it actually is released and the uh, pegging starts again. So you can see the last rebase was done in uh, August 31st, and I think a week from from now. I think it's a week. Got to confirm it. Don't take my word for it. Um, the next rebase will be done. I'm excited for it. So the current current supply right now is the 300 million, uh, which is good. 336 million. Uh, and they have the phases here um, and they're going to be releasing a second white paper. Um, big thing that happened also today, if we go to their Twitter, um, they actually have Johnny J, which is a big, pretty big producer. Uh, and they, here's a quick look actually of uh, how, I call it, it's bad because I opened it up. But um, here's a video of how um, the platform, this is a sneak peek of how the platform will work and how it's gonna look and the, the, the albums will be there. You're gonna be able to buy, sell, transfer, uh, and so on and so on. But today, so this is uh, Ronnie J right here. Um, and he is, he worked with a lot of big artists like uh, I think um, uh, Kanye, Kanye West and so, other um, I haven't done a lot of research on him, but he seems like a big deal. He's got connections and um, he's got a ton of followers on Instagram, like 1 million followers and stuff like that. And he is telling everybody about his uh, uh, AMA today, which is an ask me anything uh, questionnaire happening with Johnny J. Um, it probably passed. It's probably happening while I'm making this video, but just having a person like this that's within that niche knows all these uh, celebrities work with them uh somebody as big as like Kanye west and things like that it's a big positive right because it's not just a small little project with a small market cap but it's a project that uh that's getting in there they're getting in they're getting in the niche they're getting in with these celebrities they're getting in with the producers uh, and this is good to see and it's a it, it's it's nice if you want to go there and probably watch or listen uh, to this, you can go to their telegram, which is uh, t.me slash don't buy with two O's. Uh, and you're probably, they're gonna probably have um, um, a recorded audio file for you to listen to. But this is happening today. Okay. This is great. And if you go to his Twitter, I think he probably, uh, he's not very active on Twitter, uh, but on his Instagram, it's on his stories and everything like that. So pretty big there. Um, and a lot of these in, um, uh, new investors, they start off at Instagram and come on to uh, to crypto. All right, guys, that's basically it. Let's actually, uh, before we actually go, let's go ahead and take a look at the graph here for Don't Buy and what's been going on with it. Um, so it's probably trending up here. Let's see. Yep, right there. So Don't Buy today is trending number five. It's up a lot, uh, not a lot. I thought it was up more than that. Uh, actually, uh, we had a pullback. Um, so up about 3%, it pulled back all the way from up here. Uh, I made all time highs today, but if we zoom out, it definitely have, has pumped. It pulled back 
new investors came in here so uh sets a new support bottom for it and now it starts a new leg uh new leg up uh much like here goes up comes down and then boom uh this is still early market cap is 33 million this is ridiculously low um yeah for the potential that this has it's it's very very low if anything um yeah consider it uh take a look at it decide for yourself all right guys that's pretty much it hopefully this video wasn't so long um i'll see you guys next time have a good day